Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another play review for you guys. Today it's the bit of a bit of a weird one. I'm not really sure why they did it, but it is the new the new Galaxy Opal Jeremy Lin. So I know he's a fan favorite in 2K, but was it was this really necessary? I mean, let's just let's find out. All right. So before I probably start this review, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare basically this card to his fully evolu evolution card why can't i say that word all right so we have the galaxy opal on this side and we have the fully evolution full evolution uh jeremy lane on this side so if we just scroll down let's just take a look at his mid-range mid-range up by three shot iq up by six for some reason his free throw is better i don't know why 2k downgrade stats it's it's a, it's a weird one why they do even though they were close shot i don't know why they downgrade stats for whatever reason but the big one here plus 10 driving dunk guys if you've seen in the gameplay it, it, some of his dunks are insane they're absolutely insane uh post moves he's so much better like he even has 84 post fadeaway because <laughs> why not uh playmaking not that much better uh athleticism so much better 90 vertical 98 acceleration 98 strength I, d I don't know i guess he's been doing the gains uh let's go into the defending now here's probably where the big difference is so 80 interior de defense 96 perimeter defense look at that plus 24 in block like it's and rebounding is obviously better so overall just he's a much and he's hot from everywhere which i don't believe this one is no he has a few zones where he's not hot and of course all the badges <laughs> it's just all the badges in the world all right guys now that i've shown you the difference i'll get back to the actual live part of the review all right so basically this is the best jeremy lane card that's in the game now like no no question about that whatsoever so <laughs> basically if you've fully done jeremy lane's evolution i'm so sorry i am I am so so sorry. So roughly to get the uh, fully evolution uh, Jeremy Lin, you need roughly a thousand points, if I remember correctly, and over three hundred assists. Or you could spend a hundred thousand, roughly a hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, to get a much better version of him. Well, much better is you know a bit of a stretch, but he is definitely better. But we're gonna stop comparing the cards now, and we should just talk about how he is in game. So. I don't know what it is about this card, but it's have 2K done something to his release because his release seems a hell of a lot slower than what his actual card is. I might be wrong, might just be thinking about it incorrectly, but his release is rather slow, which I found a little bit weird. Like when I first started using the card, but it's definitely something you can easily get used to. And one of the shining things I've seen with this card is 95 driving dunk, and he's just his dunk package is insane he's doing through the legs he's bouncing the ball on the floor and then grabbing it and then doing like a 360 slam <laughs> some of the dunks he did was absolutely insane yeah just overall guys he's a he's a very fun card to use should you get him right so if you haven't done his evolution i say why not like there's He's a bit of fun to use. He is a bit expensive, but he is an Opal. He is one of the cheaper Galaxy Opals you can get. But he is a lot of fun with that 95 driving dunk. And he has 96 three-pointer with all the Hall of Fame badges you need to basically shoot from half court. Just everything with his athleticism, his playmaking, everything about him makes him an incredibly fun card to use. However, if you have done his fully evolution, you know, all that, I would maybe think twice about maybe doing... Maybe going out to get this card. I mean, if you're a big Knicks fan, big Jeremy Lin fan, I mean, I see it as a no-brainer. I'm probably going to keep him just because, you know, us Knicks fans got to have something. Yeah, guys, closing thoughts. He's definitely a lot of fun to use. 96 three-pointer. Just, he can shoot from half court. His dunk packages are absolutely insane, as you've seen in the gameplay. It's just overall just a very, very fun card to use. Is he worth 100k? Depends on your situation. If you have his fully evolution card, I'd maybe think twice and maybe think about getting someone else. Hey guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.